Hey YouTube, it's Taki with Taki Tech. Okay, so last time we talked about an input box. And this time we're going to do a little bit of air handling here. And then we're going to also uh, have a message box that's going to pop up. And um, when I was researching air handling, I already knew I've done this before. Just needed to know the nuances of it. It's been a while and I didn't really know the syntax of it. Um, there's a great article that I found on uh, C. Pearson. Dot com, which is an awesome website for VBA. And I'm going to put the link in the description here. Um, and then I was also was, was researching a little bit more about the, about the input boxes, just because um, when I click cancel, you, there's an error that comes up as well. So we're going to take care of the cancel, and we're going to take care of if somebody puts an S or something um, that's not a number in the input box. I could even um, do a... a if we put a number bigger than an uh, integer, but not not today. All right, so here we go here. So we're back to the code here in our VBA editor. Um, this is the very first line that you have to make sure you write. Now there's three different types, but for this one we're going, going to do an on-air go-to in this label, which is called throw message box. And then we want to make sure that we put this above the lines of code that could possibly make the error so that when there is an error it knows what to do otherwise if you don't put it ahead of it then you're just going to get that regular um, Microsoft VBA um, error message which isn't that bad it actually gives you a lot of good information but this is kind of a way of handling when there are errors in the program and I could tell it to do something else like um, on air go to throw message box and I could throw another input box and hey you didn't enter a number enter one this time Okay, and then you want to make sure right after all the code that you want to execute that you put exit sub, not in sub, exit sub. Now, you see here at the beginning, you have private sub or you could just have sub. I, I like to use private and public so I know which ones are, are usable by other modules and which ones aren't. But this one is exit sub, which will basically just tell the code to get out of the subroutine. You're done with the subroutine, and you want to do that because if you everything after this exit sub is going to be your error handling. Now, here is where I told it to go. This label here, this is kind of a, a mini sub within the subroutine. A special set of instructions that only happens if you go, get into the error, if you forget to put the exit sub and you don't exit the sub. These instructions will go through if you don't have that exit sub there. Um, and it, basically, for this one, it's going to be real simple. We're just going to put a message box. Now, with message box, there are buttons. And like I was saying before, with that input box, when you hit cancel, it throws an error. Uh, the same thing with the message box. Whereas if you have buttons, then you're going to have to declare a variable so that you could hold the value of what was clicked by the user. Um, I'm just going to do a simple message box here where there is going to be no variable needed. If I did need a variable, I'd probably just use I don't think I could use a boolean, which is basically a true or false. Probably, I'd hate to have to use a variant because it uses so much memory. I'd have to think about that um, or do some more research on that. That's what Google is for and that's what the internet is for. All right, so MSGBOX is all you need. You hit the open parentheses and then you have your prompt. You, uh, can I capitalize? You did not enter a number all right that's all I'm gonna put because if the next place where I go after this are the buttons and if I hit if I get the buttons then I have to declare a variable and unfortunately it's not gonna let me put in a title because that would be what was next up um, so well who I don't think we really need a title so there we go close it out I'm gonna hit the down arrow key and there we go we see it all capitalized um, in camel case here and let's give this a run here so up at the top hit an f8 there we go it's gonna i'm telling vba what to do if um the error if we run into an error with this next line of code or these next lines of code um my input input box is going to pop up now i'm going to enter a seven which is a number let's do seven seventy eight hit okay and now i'm going to hit exit sub and i'm out of there that's it um, if everything is goes okay we do this again next time I'm going to hit cancel here comes my input box hit cancel now go right into the error correction and instead of me getting an error I'm gonna get you did not enter a number 
or and it says Microsoft Excel <laughs> for the title. That's unfortunate. All right, and I'm going to hit enter again. It's a limitation. Now let's let's do our, our S. So um, hit F8, and basically what would happen? What happened? And I forgot to show it when I hit that 78. When I put that 78 in before, if I'd have put my mouse over the variable, I would have seen that it equaled 78. So I'm going to hit F8 again. I'm going to do an S this time. Hit OK, and there we go. We're having throw thrown an error just like last time. And it says, and then we get our message box with just the OK button. You did not enter a number. And that's it for this time. Um, next time, we're going to actually get off into the project again and, and get away from these um, input, me and, and input boxes and message boxes. But if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you like the content on my channel, make sure you do subscribe. And take it easy. You have a good day. Thanks a lot.